Oh, well, greetings, Earthlings. Hi there. Long time no chat. So, uh, definitely some development in The Batman. Uh, Matt Reeves' take on The Cape Crusader, uh, led by Robert Pattinson. Great actor. Uh, I, I've been excited about this movie since the trailer came out, which, by the way, let's point out, we haven't really seen the trailer aside from the first one that came out at Fandom, which was fucking awesome. But this thing's supposed to come out in 2022. I need at least one more trailer, like, soon, because I'm itching to see this. But apparently, some new developments have come out. Uh, a couple things. Let's break down what I wanted to talk about, which is potentially a sequel if things go well with Warner Brothers. But apparently, there's been some uh, talks that this is not a very good movie. Some ex execs at Warner Brothers have, have said. I've seen a couple folks do some reviews on that. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I, I'm a little bit torn because for me, no matter what, I'm just a Batman fan. So I think with a lot of people, like if you watch, you know, Marvel Avengers or something like that, if you're a Marvel fan, you could just appreciate that entire series, right? Well, for me, I feel that way with Batman. You know, no matter what, I love Batman. I love seeing him on the big screen. I love animated films. So I'm a little biased. I don't know how it could be bad. I think if you go in there expecting one thing and maybe you get another, you might not like it, but I don't see how this could be bad. It looks fucking awesome. If the movie is anything like the trailer. I'm in. I don't know how it could be bad. If things do go well, Mr. Freeze is supposed to be in the Batman sequel which I am super stoked on because we haven't seen Freeze since Schwarzenegger. You need to chill. And then, you know, of course, we've seen like uh, renditions from uh, Gotham, the uh, the series, which I thought was great. Again, I'm just a fan, so I thought that was a great series. But, you know, Mr. Freeze and there's a lot of other villains like, you know, Bane and Poison Ivy that you don't really see a lot on the big screen aside from you know, Christopher Nolan's take with Bane, which I thought was great with Tom Hardy. But, you know, these these cats deserve to be in multiple films. So according to wegotthiscovered.com, I'll leave the article below. One of the most exciting things about the Batman is that director Matt Reeves seems keen to stuff his version of Gotham City with as many of Dark Knight uh, iconic enemies as possible. Catwoman, Penguin obviously is the first one with the Riddler. Uh, will all play a key in the very first movie, with it likely to have sequels and introduce a bunch more. Sure enough, a new report is claiming that the upcoming film will tease the arrival of Mr. Freeze in the future. By the way, spoilers ahead. You have been warned. According to Giant Freaking Robot, Robert Pattinson's DC debut will end with Danos, which is uh, the actor that plays a Riddler, unleashing his plan to flood Gotham City, turning into a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Of course, fans will know that that's the concept from Batman Year One, the comic book storyline. It's unclear exactly how, but giant freaking robot writes that sources tell them this Year One-like event will lead to a tease for an appearance of Victor Fries in a follow-up film, which would be awesome. The outlet claims that the Batman universe will go on to introduce its own Slate Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke, as well, since, you know, we already had that in Justice League, which, again, we really didn't, right? We didn't get we didn't get enough of that, so hopefully the Snyderverse comes back. So, again, this source uh, is from We Got This Covered, but you can also find that at Giant Freaking Robot. Uh, the Batman hits theaters March 4th, 2022. Very, very far away. I'm really looking forward to this. I think uh, Patson's going to do a great job. And, you know, this is year one. We really haven't seen gritty year one type of Batman. You know, but we've seen Christopher Nolan's take, which was great. You know, that kind of goes a little bit more towards the comic about Ra's al Ghul and things like that. But this looks a little bit interesting. It looks like he's doing things on his own. You know, it's set maybe like real life. So uh, I like it. You know, it's going to be more of a detective story, which I think is the nuts and bolts of Batman. So it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Give me another trailer. I'm stoked.